Happy Monday. Let's talk about kids today. Better yet, let's talk about children today. That's an inside joke. What I want to talk about is uh, interested in a couple of things. First, you ought to see some of the comments on the story that we did this week about the 14-year-olds who are accused of setting a bunch of fires, including the major fire at Dogs. Now, I say accused, nobody's proved anything yet, but uh, the comments are really kind of interesting. Lots of people, almost everybody, think that they ought to have to be punished for what they've done. Makes sense. It's some of the answers that are offered that are a little bit scary. One person wants to hang a sign around them and make them do community service around 2nd Street. You know, the shame thing. There were several questions about whether the parents were going to be responsible for the financial damage done. Interesting. They're kids after all. And I particularly like the one that asked, these are 14 year olds. The fire was set at 5 a.m. Are you saying that the parents didn't know their 14 year olds left the house at 5 a.m.? Well, I remember, believe it or not, I do remember when I was 14 years old, and I'll guarantee you I could have got out of the house without my parents knowing. Just saying. Now, I agree that 14 year olds should be punished for what they've done, especially the kind of damage that was happening here. I don't want to convict them yet, but this kind of damage, you really have to take responsibility for your actions, no doubt. The question remains, are they going to be tried as juveniles or adults? Are they juveniles or adults? I have no clue. What do you think about that? Let me know. You could actually comment on the story. And then you get to see all the other comments too. Before I leave, I do have to say a word about the big story this week. And that's at the border. The separation of families. Now the, no, we aren't going to separate the families anymore. I don't care whose fault it is that all of this happened. I care about something called humanity. Why can't we act as simple, caring human beings? That doesn't mean opening the border to anyone. It also doesn't mean throwing families in jail for indefinite periods of time. We need a solution. Again, I don't have one. I can think about it though, and I can do something about it if you'll help me. Let me hear from you. What are you doing about it? Thanks.